I'm getting some barnyard. I'm Sarah Lehman. I am the owner of Psalm in the City. It is a wine and travel blog that focuses on food, wine, and luxury. Get a nice swirl first. It's quite fruity, but it's, it's a little mild. Ooh, I actually like this. It has some has a little bit more complexity than I was expecting it to have. Mm. Wow, this is definitely not as um, powerful as the Cabernet that I would expect. It's just really approachable and very friendly, and I think this is a it's a good Cabernet. Very smooth. Wow, not gonna lie, didn't expect that from Target, but I would drink this. This one's definitely spicy. It's a nice wine. There's nothing too complex about it. There's a lot of fruit, and you get a lot of this sour cherry, bright strawberry and raspberry, and then it just kind of finishes flat. Oh, excellent, wow. All right, so right off the bat, you're getting a lot of this cranberry and currants. Then you're getting this really nice, like, meatiness and like some nice cocoa. I really like the sweet baking spice I'm also getting in this. I feel like this wine has a lot of layers. My first choice is definitely the Untamed Vine. I think that this definitely showed what everything that I love about California and California wines. I would say my second favorite would actually be the Kirkland. I was pleasantly surprised by that. It had some personality to it and it's, I really would not knock this wine. For my third, I would have to go with the collection. Then I would say my fourth one would be the Charles Shaw. I just thought that this wasn't as strong as the other, as the other few. Lastly, it would be the Wesley Farms. And um, that's just because I felt that it just tastes very um, commercial. Pleasant nose. Um, I think it's definitely very typical of Pinot Grigio. This is what I would expect from it. Not as much acidity as I thought it would have, which is pleasant because sometimes Pinot Grigio can be a little too uh, racy and aggressive. But what I really like about this wine is the fact that it's medium bodied and it has a really smooth finish. Ooh. I'm kind of getting like an apple juice nose, which is interesting. So this one definitely has a lot more acidity than the Costco. It's almost like a creamy wine. The acidity is right there in the beginning of the wine and then it just kind of smooths out and it becomes creamy. It's really interesting, but it's really reminding me of apple juice. Ooh, right off the nose, you get a lot of citrus and getting some white flour. Okay, so this one has a lot more of like the citrus skin, so we're getting a lot of this lime peel, and I'm getting a little bit of a candied lemon, but it's nothing too sweet. This wine is still very dry. I'm getting some barnyard um, right in the nose, and I know that sounds like a weird quality to have, but barnyard is definitely a an aroma in wine that can be attractive depending on the wine. Yeah, yellow apple, hay, it's got acidity. 
got some lime in there. I really like it. Out of my, my top favorites, I would say the collection won my heart this time. It was just really fun and I would just, I would drink this all the time. The Kirkland, again, surprised me. I am wondering if I should start going to Costco and buying some wine. <laughs> um, and then I would say the Wesley Farms definitely would be my third choice. And the fourth would be the Trader Joe's Shaw. It was my least favorite. It didn't have as much personality as the other three. Okay, pleasant. So, getting again a lot of this fresh red fruit. It's really a kind of a juicy wine. You have just enough acidity to make it to get this drying sensation in your mouth. But what I really enjoy about this is that to me it tastes like a typical California rose. This is an easy to drink wine. The finish does fall very short though. This wine has a lot more acidity. It has everything I look for in a California rosé. So it's bright, it's fruit forward, it's fresh. The finish is there, like I'm still, I'm still tasting it. This wine could be taken places, I would say, compared to the Shaw, where the Shaw is really just an, a really, it was decent, but it fell flat compared to the collection. It really did. So the winner of the wine tasting would definitely be Target. I think the collection by Target is my top wine choice from the selection that I've tried today. I was pleasantly surprised by all three of these wines. They met a lot of my qualifications, which includes taste, aromas, complexity as well as finish. So if I were to say bring something that was less expensive to my friends but from California, I would go with the collection. I think out of all the three wines I tried from them, they really all struck me in very different ways, but in very positive ways. And I would buy them.